Hi, I'm Ron from PowerPools.com, and I'm here to talk to you about the third most asked about pool water problem. And that third problem is algae. Algae is everywhere. And that's one thing that folks just have to understand. We see it not only in our pools, but it's literally everywhere. It's blowing in the air, it's on, um, it's on trees, it is on the ground. Wherever you are, you will find some form of, of algae. Algae is one of the most basic kinds of life. And what it is, all algae is, is it, it is a single cell plant form. Very, very simple. And all it requires is a little bit of sunlight for photosynthesis and a little bit of moisture to grow and it will grow. Keep in mind that in your swimming pool you have algae growing in there all the time. The reason why you don't see it though is because it is under control. And it literally takes millions upon millions of algae spores in a single ounce of water so that you can see it. And that's why we want to keep it at bay and we want to prevent it. When it comes to swimming pools, we basically deal with three kinds of algae, or three types of algae. There's green, black, and mustard. Green algae is the most basic form of algae that, that, that we see. It can be either wall clinging or sitting on, on the floor. It has a greenish tint to it. That's how we know that it is algae. Um, once it breaks out and it blooms, then it can turn the entire pool green. In the meanwhile, that outbreak of algae will tend to cause the water to be cloudy first. So we, as soon as we begin seeing something wrong, we want to go and treat it as quickly as possible. Green algae out of the three forms is the simplest, is usually the simplest form to treat and kill and then prevent. But not all the time, as we'll look at in a few minutes. Generally, when you have, a, have an algae problem, or a green algae problem in particular, the water will tend to have a higher pH. So your pH will be up to 7.8 and 8.0 and, and higher. The key is maintaining that, that pH down in the 7.4 to 7.6 range. That makes all the difference. You can prevent green algae by a simple addition of algicide on a weekly basis and a simple shocking every week. If you're in, in an area where there is where you're constantly dealing with algae, there are other things that can be done, and we'll look at that as we go through this video. The second major form of algae that we typically deal with in the sea is called black algae. Now, black algae is, in my opinion, the second most misdiagnosed form of algae out there. People say that they have black algae, and Black algae has certain special characteristics. In the first place, black algae is typically seen in areas where there is no sunlight on, on the pool. In other words, it'll be in a shady area. It will be in, in areas that do not get a lot of activity. Black algae is difficult to treat because it actually almost sends down roots into the pool surface and then it grows, and then it builds a skeleton over the top of itself, which protects it from chlorine and other, other treatments. When we're dealing with the black algae, you have to understand what you're treating and then treat it aggressively. A simple shocking of, of a pool with black algae may, may make it appear as if you have treated it, where in actuality, you have only bleached the top surfaces. And so it's necessary to brush it, brush it, brush it, shock it, maintain a high chlorine level, add algicide. In certain instances, we, we do recommend to our customers that, that, you, that you maintain a high chlorine level, and that and a high chlorine level means over three parts per million for about a week's time. If you cannot maintain a high chlorine level, that means you, are, you have not treated the algae to the best of, of your ability. The third form of algae that we deal with, and this is the most misdiagnosed algae form out there, and that's mustard algae. 
in all of my years, every single year, I can I can honestly tell you that I come across two, maybe three, truly bona fide mustard algae problems in customers' pools. In the Northeast, you you rarely see it. In the Southeast, in the Sun Belt, you will see it a little bit more. And what mustard algae is is it, it is basically a mutated form of green algae. So instead of having a green color to it or a blue-green color to it, it has a brownish or mustard color to it. Mustard algae brushes off very easily, and then it pretty well returns to the same spot. Again, like black algae, it causes a tremendous chlorine demand. And you have to treat it and kill it and, and, and deal with it as, as, as harshly and as best as you can. One thing that we know about mustard algae is that it likes to travel. Because it is throughout the water, it's not just on the, on the steps or on the bottoms or the sides of, of the swimming pool. It will get into, a, into your bathing suits. It can get into um, uh, vacuum hoses and pool toys. And you can then cross-contaminate a, 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 a true mustard algae pool from one yard to another. So when you're going to treat mustard algae, you want to deal with it deal with it harshly and deal with it 100%. As we said, mustard algae is very chlorine resistant. You will have a chlorine demand, but you have to treat it. Well, look, let's look at a couple of things as far as uh, treatment and prevention goes. First of all, let me say that prevention is, the, is definitely the, the better thing of the two. It is much easier, much less cost costly to prevent algae than it is to treat it. We can prevent algae by simply following our, our five keys to pool care with good filtration, good circulation, good cleaning, good water balance, and good water chemistry. To further enhance the pool to prevent algae, we can use products such as BioGuard Optimizer Plus. BioGuard Optimizer Plus has borates in it. Unfortunately, this product is not available in the state of California. But borates are a wonderful thing. Borates prevent algae, again, which is a green plant life, from photosynthesizing. When it can't photosynthesize, it can't grow. And that's what the Optimizer Plus does. We can further prevent algae by using a good quality algicide. And a good quality algicide means that you use something that has a 30% or 40% or greater concentration of active ingredients. Do yourself a favor and do not purchase the one gallon jugs of algaecide. It's blue colored water. Next, we want to shock the pool. We want to shock the pool on a regular basis to boost up the chlorine level, help maintain and, um, and support the algaecide, and then also to kill the algae. Next, you want to brush the pool. Brush the pool on a regular basis. Use a circulator. Increase the water circulation. Have people use the pool more often. Again, those folks who have well-used pools have less, significantly less water problems than those who have poorly used pools. Another thing to use is a good enzyme solution plus a phosphate remover. There is a lot of controversy regarding phosphates. And after looking at the situation for the past several years, I am, I am convinced by, by not only what I have read, but what I have seen in my customers' pools. When you remove the phosphates from a pool, it gives you extra leeway. Keep in mind that you can get phosphates from a variety of, of areas. You can get phosphates from the next door neighbor who has fertilized his yard. You can get phosphates from dead skin cells, from dead hair. Phosphates can come from a variety of areas, and you want to control them. All that, all that, that, that will do is it is going to it is providing one less bit of food for the algae to grow. And so, phosphates, naturally pure, is a is a wonderful product in in preventing and removing phosphates, and also an enzyme to help to eat up some of the other food sources of the algae. Um, in treating. If you follow the steps, 
follow what is what, what needs to be done, you can have an algae-free pool all year long. Maintain good water balance, shock the pool regularly, treat the pool regularly, sanitize it, a little bit of algaecide. When it comes to the black algae, and I want to just go there for, for a second because that is the probably the toughest algae to get rid of. As we said, the black algae, it can form roots, and we want to be able to prevent that from, from happening. Products such as Aquafinesse pool water care tablets actually remove the biofilm. So when you have a biofilm, it makes it a nice, easy breeding area for algae. If you're removing the biofilm, then even the roots can't get into the surface of the pool, and you will prevent the black algae, and you can treat it. That's, that's all that it takes to treat algae. And we hope that you don't have it. And, you, and it is completely preventable. If you have any questions, visit our website at parpools.com forward slash algae. You can also email us at techhelp at parpools.com. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the pool.